Oh, whoa! That's a shark! The country consists of six major islands, but a really cool thing to be doing here would be climbing that volcano. There is plenty of precipitation and heat here, enough for many tall trees to grow. Or volleyball? Well, that looks like a fun day. I make travel and geography related videos. I do the countries alphabetically. I started at Z and I'm working up to A and now we're in the middle of the S countries. So today it is time to zoom in on Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands has its name from King Solomon. In this video, I will present to you the geography and travel suggestions for Solomon Islands. And I seek to find the most correct information. Now, sometimes I make mistakes, so you're welcome to let me know so that this video will be as correct as possible. Now, let's zoom in. Solomon Islands is an island nation in Oceania, in the Pacific Ocean. More specifically, in the Solomon Sea. It doesn't share a land border with any countries. But close countries are Vanuatu, Australia, and especially close is Papua New Guinea. At its closest, it lies only five kilometers away, at Bougainville Island. That is geographically part of the Solomon Islands too, but politically part of Papua New Guinea. The country consists of six major islands, Josuel, New Georgia, Santa Isabel, Malaita, Guadalcanal, and Makira, also called San Cristobal, as well as over 900 other smaller islands. The northernmost point of the country lies on the island Choice Well. The easternmost point lies all the way here, the Duff Islands. The southernmost point lies here on Rennell Island. And the westernmost point lies on Mono Island. I already see that Solomon Islands has a lot of islands. But the country is not that big in area. Of all the countries in the world, it comes on number 139 in area, about the same size as Armenia and Albania, with 694,000 inhabitants. Solomon Islands comes at number 162 in population, making the population density 24 people per square kilometer, and comes at number 155 in population density. Let's talk about life expectancy. In 1960, life expectancy was 48.1 years. In 2019, the number has climbed to 73 years. That's an extra 25 years. That's about my age. What a change. The capital city of Solomon Islands lies in Guadalcanal and is called Honiara. It is by far the most populous city, with 84,000 people. Other towns are Aoki and Giso, both with around 6,000 inhabitants. For all of mispronouncing these names here, the official language of Solomon Islands is English. But according to my sources, there aren't many people that actually do speak English fluently. There are a total of 70 languages spoken in the country, but an English Creole pidgin is the lingua franca spoken by the majority of the people. It means that this is the language that most people speak. The name Solomon Islands comes from the biblical King Solomon, after a Spanish navigator became the first European to visit this place. Now it's time to zoom in on the capital of Honiara. Let's see, the capital city lies here. Oh, it is so green here. And I can see many rivers here close to the capital city. Here we have the American War Memorial and the Japanese War Memorial. We have Chinatown, King George VI National High School. We have the Central Market, Cowboys Grill, University of the South Pacific. Okay, let's see if we can take a closer look. Oh, I cannot see any places we can go. There is a place here. Let's check it out. Oh, wow, this looks beautiful. Some chairs overlooking the water, many boats, beautiful trees, a pool. This looks like a hotel resort. This looks pretty good. Yeah, I could definitely stay here if I wanted to visit Oniara. Okay, let's try this place also. This is closer to Chinatown. I see houses here along the water. Lots of people, what are they doing? They look very happy. Looks like they're playing some sports, like soccer maybe, or volleyball. Well, that looks like a fun day. And they're drying some clothes over here. <laughs> Yeah, many houses. I wonder what they are being used for. Some small buildings. Yeah, this is a beach. I see many small children. Here we can see very far. 
to other islands. It's always fun to see what a country looks like. Let's check out one more place. Oh, I see big boats here. Colorful boats. Looking at the boats, I like his cap. The cars that I see are big. Probably good for dirt roads. All right, thank you, Street View and photographers who took the pictures. Landscapes. Here are topography maps for five of the major islands. We can see that all the islands have mountains and elevation varies from sea level to over a thousand meters on most of the major islands. Solomon Islands have coral reefs and atolls, ring-shaped coral reefs, like here. A typical landscape in this country is tropical rainforests. The equator is pretty close. It lies a little bit north, so there is plenty of precipitation and heat here, enough for many tall trees to grow. There's also some grass plains to be found here. Solomon Islands is part of the Ring of Fire, the ring around the Pacific Ocean where many tectonic plates meet. And here, earthquakes, volcanoes, and deep sea trenches occur. One of the deep sea trenches is very visible, close to the island Makira, because the Australian plate pushes onto the Pacific plate, creating this deep trench. There are also volcanoes here. One dormant volcano lies on Colombangera Island, and the more active volcano is this stratovolcano, or steep volcano Tinacula. They are not the highest point of Solomon Islands, by the way. That title was a bit hard to find. Some sources say it's Mount Makara Kumburo at 2,447 meters, or 8,127 feet. Other sources say Mount Popomanaseu at 2,335 meters, or 7,661 feet, about 30 kilometers away from the capital city. If you know which mountain is taller, please comment so we have a clear winner here. Rivers. There are many mountainous areas in Solomon Islands, and it rains a lot, so rivers are abundant. But the islands are small, so the rivers are too, and they're only navigable by canoe. They have their origins in the mountains, often have steep courses, and stream out into the sea. On Guadalcanal, we have Lunga River, streaming out at the town Lunga. On Malaita, we have Wairaha River, streaming out into the Wairaha Bay. And on Makira, we have Ravo, streaming out here. Lakes. The islands are small, and there are no major lakes in the Solomon Islands. But there is a small one here on Ronell Island called Lake Tengano. It is time for random street view. Okay, let's see where we can go. Okay, I'm pretty curious about this place. It looks like it's right inside the water. Oh, it is an island. Let's just go and check it out. Whoa, look at the color of the water. Green, bluish, standing on a boat. <laughs> this is an island just packed with trees. Hello, boat driver. And here we can only see the sea. We can see very far. Yeah, so I guess right now we're part of a tour, driving past this island. Let's check out another place. I wanna try here. And we're on the beach. Oh, look at that house. It looks like it's made out of banana leaves. It looks water repellent. Check this out, we have trees, different kinds of trees. And a red house. There are people and a dog. Is this the same person? <laughs> or are they very much alike? Looks like they're working. And here we see someone in the boats. And lots of tall palm trees here. Okay, I want to take a look at one last place. Let's try this one. Oh, whoa! That's a shark! Look at this animal! Wow! Okay, so I studied biology and I studied the types of sharks, but I don't know which type this is. If you know what species of shark this is, then please comment, because I'm curious. Whoa, look at that animal. I wonder how big it is. This is fantastic. Wow, what a great picture. <laughs> this is a funny look. Is there any... Oh, and here is the photographer, maybe. Whoa, this looks amazing. Snorkeling in Solomon Islands and seeing this big shark, wow. And is that a fish? <laughs> and is that something too? Looks like another shark, right? Or a fish? Whoa, I'm so happy I found this picture. This was amazing. Opposite side time. I put my ruler in the capital city Honiara, move it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe, we are already in the Pacific Ocean, so we'll land somewhere else, and we land here, right off the coast of Western Africa. And the closest country is Guinea-Bissau, 
Well, that might be the first time we mentioned Guinea-Bissau in a Zooming In On series. Congratulations! Time for travel suggestions. Solomon Islands is a great place to visit if you enjoy exploring. There are so many places untouched and unseen by tourists. It is like a playground if you enjoy seeing unknown places. One activity is to go diving or snorkeling and explore the many coral reefs. You can also go surfing or kayaking if you really like the water. Along the best known and easily reachable places to go surfing is Giso, lying southwest from that dormant volcano. Here are great opportunities for surfing, but it's not great for beginners. You need to know what you're doing. There are dangerous coral reefs you need to look out for. Here are also various resorts and restaurants and daily flights from capital city Honiara. I already want to visit this place. I haven't gone surfing much before, but this looks like a great vacation spot. So close to Giso is this island with a volcano called Kolombangara Island. And there is lots to do here too, like going for easy walks in the rainforest, bird watching, and walking along rivers. But a really cool thing to be doing here would be climbing that volcano. It is a two day trek, so you get to camp overnight in the rainforest, listening to the birds and enjoying that beautiful view from the top at 1770 meters. You can book the tour through visitsolomons.com if you appreciate some guidance. The last travel suggestion is for you who likes history, like World War II. Big parts of the world were affected by this war, so it is probable that also your country was affected. Maybe you have family members who remember it. Anyway, Solomon Islands was the site of fighting during World War II. You can visit the American War Memorial and Japanese War Memorial, both in Honiara. Also, at the bottom of the sea, you can see traces after the war, like oil tankers, planes, and submarines. If you go snorkeling here, look for those things. Wow, I have learned so much about the Solomon Islands. Like, the official language is English, but they have about 70 other languages. Rainforests, volcanoes, snorkeling, World War II memorials. To me, it seems like visiting this country would be a great getaway to really experience nature. It seems like a really relaxing place. I hope you learned something too, and if you know more about the country, feel free to comment. These were some geographical facts on Solomon Islands. Next time, we're gonna go back to Europe, to Slovenia, and we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.